I don't look at myself as an individual as famous. I'm in a famous band which brings fame. But, you know, like, I don't think Kean Egan is a name. I don't really have a want for me as an individual to be Never famous. I want, I want for our band to be famous because that means we're doing well and we're successful. So that's kind of the way I look at fame personally. I think Kean from Westlife is famous. Yeah, yeah. And Mark from Westlife. We all have the same surname. Yeah. Nikki Shane, Mark came from Westlake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our second name, officially. But you know, fame is something that I don't think f for any of us as a band is something that we've ever chased or wanted. It's more like we've always wanted Westlife to be successful and good at what we do. And if that brings fame, then, you know, it's a bonus sometimes because you skip queues in nightclubs. Yeah. You tables have in the restaurants. Oh, tables in the restaurants. Fun. It definitely helps. Yeah, you get free stuff. Free clothes. You get to meet amazing people. You get mm. to meet like your idols. You get to meet people that you love and people that you never would meet unless you were in the band. Over the years, I mean, Lee Sharp would have been an idol for me as a footballer. Then when I started liking boys on, it would have been the lads and Ronan, obviously. Um, then I've always wanted to meet Brad Pitt. I've met him yet. Uh, Liz Hurley, I wanted to meet and I haven't met her yet. So, um, she won't return your calls. No. But, um, I think we, down the line, down the years, we've always managed to, like the lads have said, you meet people like Kevin Spacey. They might not have been your idol, but they're A-listers. You know, and you met, obviously we've worked with um, Mariah Carey and Diana Ross, but then you've, you've been in the same room. We've met Beyonce, we've met Britney, we've met Christine, we've met, you know, Justin, and, you know, it's, it's a weird life when you meet all these people, so um, it's pretty cool. Actually, some of the most interesting people that we meet aren't even famous. I mean, some of the people that you meet in this industry, whether they're a TV producer or a songwriter, I mean, there's a guy called Desmond Child who wrote all the Bon Jovi stuff and we went to his um, house in the States to meet him about writing songs. And I mean, he's just like he's the most character. entertaining character ever, you know. It's like you meet, you know, it's, it's like Simon Kyle. Before he was famous, we used to talk about him every day anyways because of, you know, the same reason everyone talks about him now, except he wasn't famous. He was just this guy in a record company that had like really high trousers and a black hole and X and kind of like wanted us all to look exactly like him and you know he, I mean he hasn't changed a bit but you know there's so many other people out there that just are made for TV but for you know obviously they don't kind of chase the TV stardom or whatever.